and then you're getting like stabbed by a tree. The more you know, ma'am. Hey there, I'm Olivia. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I wanted to do a look inspired by the April card that was in my Ipsy bag. So it's kind of a citrusy theme. And then I also wanted to do just kind of a wrap up review of the products that I got in that bag. So let's get started. First things first, Luna has come to say hello. She's doing quite well, although she did weigh... Okay, so the other day my husband asked me, what's the average weight of a house cat? We weren't sure, we looked it up. And I think it said something between like six and nine pounds. This chunker clocked in at 14. <laughs> so we're on a little bit of a diet. Uh, someone's not super happy about that, but you know, you just keep rolling on, yeah? So my plan for the look today is I kind of want to focus on mostly the oranges and yellows in here. Um, I'm definitely feeling that, you know, orange and lemon vibe. Um, maybe a little bit of pink with that. Grapefruit though, I mean the girl in the picture is wearing pink lips, so I feel like it makes sense to incorporate it. First though, I wanted to mention, obviously I've done my face makeup already. The only product that was in my Ipsy bag that I've used so far is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Primer, the base tape one. This is fine. I, I don't really foresee myself continuing to use this a whole lot once this month is over since I've already reviewed it. I just don't think it does a whole lot. It's not the most hydrating primer I have. Honestly, I would just as soon use like a really good moisturizer and then an illuminating primer on top of it or like an oil control primer on top of it, something like that. I don't feel like I necessarily need this type of primer if only what it's doing is hydration, but it's fine. <clears throat> and then when I did my bronzer, I used the brush that had come in here, the Firmer 103 one. I like this brush. I haven't been going out of my way to use it necessarily this month. I just have other bronzer brushes that I like a lot. Um, I've actually been using this kind of fluffy um, Ulta one a lot. There's so much cat hair. But I like this brush. I think it's soft. I think it seems pretty well made. This was a good thing to get in the bag. So, so far I've primed my eyes using the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre just to kind of get a nice base down. And I think for this look, I'm going to be focusing on my Yes Please palette. There's just a lot of colors in here that I think will work pretty well. So to start with, I'm going to grab this yellow shade here and then I'm just going to start packing that all over my lid. way up into the crease but what I really want to do in the crease is a nice bright orange so I think we'll go ahead and just leave it there for now and then I'm gonna grab kind of a fluffier blending brush and then I'm gonna grab this orange shade here I, think I almost want a smaller blending brush drag that into a vaguely V shape. And then I think I'm just gonna pack on a little bit more of that yellow. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so here's where we are now. We've got that yellow all over the lid, orange blended up into the crease. And then I think what I wanna do next, I do wanna blend out the edges just a little bit. So I'm gonna grab this kind of light pink here. I think it's the shade Champs. I'm not sure, but this kind of light peachy, peachy pink shade in the Yes Please palette. And then I'm just gonna use that to run over the edges of that orange just to Kind of soften it a little bit and then to bring in kind of those peachy tones that are on the card okay and then i really want to do like a bright orange liner for this look i just think that that would look kind of cool to have like the lighter orange in the crease and then like a really bright intense orange is kind of a liner so i don't have an actual eyeliner in bright orange but what i want to do is grab my zulu palette and then just use the really bright orange of the that's in here. So to help that color be as intense as possible, I'm gonna lay down a little bit more of that MAC Paint Pot just in the shape of the wing that I want, and that'll give me a little bit better base. It's kinda hard to tell if it's symmetrical because it's so light, but I think we're getting there. Okay. 
Okay, cool. So we've got that. It's not really a concealer. I don't even know what this is really called. Paint pot. So we've got the paint pot down, and then I'll just go ahead and use the same brush and dip into that really bright orange, and then just follow that same line. Nice. That definitely helps it to be as vibrant as possible. Okay, cool. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, so we've got our orange eyeliner all done. I think that that looks fun, very bright. So the next product that I want to use, it's another thing that was in my Ipsy bag. It's the Ico London Black Eyeliner. And I don't want to use a ton of liner because I really do just want the orange to stand out. And I feel like the black can kind of overtake it really easily. So I'm just going to do a really thin line along my um, upper lash line. No kind of wing just a tiny thin line purely to thicken up the lash line. Oh, I feel like I'm playing such a dangerous game right now. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> I do actually really like this eyeliner. So I've been using this a lot this month and it has a fairly flexible tip. So it's, it's not the easiest liner for me to use. I don't know that any liner is like the easiest liner for me to use. Honestly, probably like a gel liner and a pot with a brush is the easiest thing for me to control personally. But I do really like this one. I like that it's a little bit shorter. It just makes it easier for me to control, especially on days that I'm wearing my glasses and I have to be like this close to the mirror. Um, but even if not, even if I'm just using it when I'm wearing my contacts, I really like this liner. It's nice and black, it's waterproof, which is kind of nice. I like how thin the tip is. It helps me to get a very precise line and to get a very thin line if I'm not wanting to do like a big wing. So I like that product a lot. So next, I think I'm, I want to do some pink on the lower lash line. And so for that, I think I'm going to jump into, ah, I think I'm going to grab my Zulu palette again. This is a very intense pink. I think I'm going to actually mix these two. So this really bright kind of magenta pink and then this kind of rose gold. I want to mix the two and do that on the lower lash line. I feel like that's going to be kind of a good way to incorporate the kind of the grapefruit vibes that are in here. And I think it'll add something just a little bit more fun. And then I'm gonna grab some of that rose gold on here, start from the inner corner. Okay, and then the last thing for eyes is just gonna be some mascara. So I've got my Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Just pop that on. face highlight on. Mm, I'm gonna use my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It's kind of crazy though. Like, I feel like my skin has been pretty glowy lately. I've been using that Bare Minerals, like, complexion, what's it called? Like, tinted something, rescue, whatever. Um, and I really like it. Like, I just feel like when I use dewier products like that, I honestly forget to put on highlight a lot of the time. Because I just feel like my skin is already so glowy, you know? Not that I don't mind extra glow, I mean, yes please, but it's kind of cool. Okay, so I think, oh, and then lip stuff. So the last thing that was in my Ipsy bag, or second to last thing, I guess, is the balm. I have the Creamy Lip Stain in Salude. I don't know if this color goes with this look, like, perfectly, because this is definitely kind of a cooler tone neutral. Probably would have picked something a little brighter pink to go with the theme, but I think I might do a little bit brighter pink gloss on top just to kind of make the tones match better. I kind of like those mixed together. This is the Mally, what is it called? Get It Girl? Is that the name of the line or the shade? Whatever. It's a lip gloss. It's kind of a bright, milky pink. It's such a weird description. I'm never calling anything that again. Okay, so here's the finished look. I think it's pretty well inspired by the card this month. I mean, we've got the pink lip, we've got the orange, the yellow, some kind of pink from the grapefruit. So this is super fun. Um, I love these colors anyway. I love 
things that are citrus themed. I mean, the bag for this month, oh my gosh, so cute. The little lemons on it, adorable. That does make me think though, quick story. So I went to visit some family in Arizona a couple months ago and they have a ton of fruit trees in the backyard, a lot of different kinds of citrus. Did you know that lemons have like extremely aggressive thorns? Oh, apparently like almost all citrus does, but like you walk out there to get a lemon thinking, oh, like I'm just gonna have some fresh squeezed juice. Like, how lovely. And then you're getting like stabbed by a tree. The more you know, man. Anyway, that's so not the point. So the very last thing that was part of this bag that I wanted to talk about is the mask that was in here, the APTO skincare nourishing mask. Honestly, I only use this once. I There's just something about the smell of this one I just don't like. It's a very kind of like natural spa scent, but like it's a little much. Like I just, I didn't enjoy the scent. It's supposed to be like a nourishing, hydrating thing. I didn't feel like my skin was especially hydrated after I used it. Again, I feel like if I just use a good moisturizer, I feel like that can kind of serve the purpose. And if I really don't like the smell and don't enjoy the experience, then I can't see myself using this again. So that was everything that I got in my April Ipsy bag. Just kind of a quick review of each item, a look inspired by the card. I think it's always kind of fun to do. So I've already got my May bag. I haven't opened it yet. I was kind of saving it, which I'm running out of time. It's almost the end of the month, which is crazy. Uh, but definitely stay tuned for that. I'll be filming the unboxing for that one next. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope I see you again soon. Bye.